Whoa, Gohan at 55% can hit 2 million? This guy's a fucking monster. Look at this. When he's rainbowed, he can hit for over 3 million. Holy moly, guacamole. What about this guy? Was he chopped liver? No one's giving him props. Just because he doesn't have the highest attack, just because he looks like Caitlyn Jenner, doesn't mean he's completely useless. You know what? We're about to show you the power of Super Saiyan 3 Trunks. Man's about to tank this spare bomb easy. Light work. Light work. Easy as fuck. Come through. Run on. Uh, fuck. Alright, so your boy Super Saiyan 3 Trunks couldn't really take that hit. Low key, one more super and we be chilling because your boy gives a nice defense plus 30% for 9 turns upon super attack. So, low-key, you get two additionals, defense plus 30% in one turn, times two. That's 60% bump up, looking pretty good. Uh, as you can see, he's kind of the defensive unit compared to in Super Saiyan 3 Gohan. In Super Saiyan 3 Gohan, actually is more of a aggressive unit. Uh, let's see. So, you can run them on two different teams. Either the Super Saiyan 3 team, which is kind of more common... Uh, or Hybrid Sands. I would rather run them in Hybrid Sands, although I personally play with the Go, uh, the Trunks more, and I use them on a Vegeta family team. But yeah, so your boy, Super Saiyan 3 Gohan, uh, is a lot more aggressive. He raises attack for 9 turns. He has attack and defense plus 100%, similar to Trunks, but he gets attack and defense plus 60% when performing a super attack. Now, I have a dupe in both of them. <clears throat> I actually did a single summon because I was bored. I ended up getting a dupe of this guy, so there you go. We got 69% Gohan. Uh, you can't see it. Now you can see it. 69% Gohan, and then 69% Trunks. Like I said, uh, you can run them on a Hybrid Sands team. You can also run them on Super Saiyan 3 team. I know a lot of people love to run either the Trunks or the Gohan with uh, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku because you get plus 2 key from Shafting of the Limit and then plus 3 key from Over in the Flash. I personally, me personally, I like using him on the Vegeta family team. He's he's just a fun unit. I like him personally. Um, and the fact that he gives plus fucking five key to LR Majin Vegeta, low key is a necessary uh, thing because this motherfucker has like no prepared for battle whatsoever and most units have prepared for battle. But Vegeta family seems like they have a lot of Shattering the Limit Mongs, which isn't necessarily a bad thing so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna run an event i'm gonna bring probably the super saiyan 3 team just because that's the easiest team to get supers with those mongos might as well use a fucking might as well use a bonus boys why not uh let's see if anyone is running bardock bardock can we get a bardock ladies and gentlemen can i please get a bardock uh let me see if i put the category will he pop up or is no one using this motherfucker Okay, so there's, you know, one or two fucking sickos actually using this guy. So let's go ahead and run it, run it, run it, run it, run it, run it into the ground. So I would imagine if you have these two units, you probably would want to keep them together because, I don't know. I mean, they're pretty fun, to be completely honest with you. And again, this Trunks is actually pretty valuable. And I'm actually interested to see how well he performs in Super Battle Road. Just because of the fact that he gets defense plus 30% on supers. And he usually gets about... Maybe 250k uh, defense um, when it comes to uh, the Vegeta family team. Uh, if there's at least one support on the turn. But I usually run Xeno Vegeta and the SSB Vegeta. So low-key, I'm supported the fuck out. Uh, so potentially he could have a defense of close to 300k. Which is very, very good in and of itself. But then when his passive activates and his passive basically... Grants, ah, oh shit, they're not on the same turn. Um, I guess, fuck, I guess I'll send, uh, I guess I'll send this Gohan away, unfortunately. Unfortunately for me, unfortunately for me, I gotta send the Gohan away. And I'm gonna try to purposely not get many supers other than the Gohan and the Trunks just to make this as slow and boring as possible. But as you can see, turn one, your boy Gohan has an attack set of 138,904. If I get this shit, it'll reflect his passive, I do believe. So it bumps up to 204,000. Uh, pretty good attack stat. I mean, if you have this Gohan and you run him on this team... He will more than likely, with no dupes, hit 2 million um, 
Especially if you have the Bardock passive active. Your boy, look at that, 1.5 million. Not bad at all. Not too shabby. One dupe. Your boy's putting in work. Uh, and I would imagine in both these units, you would want to preferably go the dupe path of going with um, AA, additional attack, just because of the fact that their passive, their super passive is based off uh, super attack. So I would personally put AA. Uh, although crit is all right. Dodges if you really want it, I guess. So let's go ahead and get a super attack. Uh, let's go ahead and get a super. I actually don't want to get a super attack with Goku. Uh, can I not get a super attack with Goku? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can stall. Yes, I can. And I wonder, uh, if I remember correctly from ages ago, this event was kind of annoying because Super Saiyan 3 trunks uh trunks jesus go tanks doesn't really take that much damage so hopefully this is a time consuming task where we can hit that nine turn limit and have these boys at max attack because i actually did do this before while i was at work busy in the kitchen you know I me mean? whipping it ready proper uh but i did not have the super saiyan 3 gohan um dupe so uh, you know i, I want to be fair i want to be just i want to have them be on the same wavelength you know what i mean so, might as well uh, let your boys be 69%, both of them. That way, there's no bias. Although, I'll be completely honest with you. Like I said, I'm more biased towards the Trunks just because I have a Vegeta family team. And I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like Vegeta family team is a lot more um, accepting of shattering the limit units. Because a lot of the LRs that they have actually have shattering the limit. So I feel like it's not that big of a deal. Whereas with Goku, I feel like if I had more Shattering the Limit units, it'd be annoying, like, missing that Fierce Battle link. Um, whereas with Vegeta, it's usually not too bad just because of the simple fact that there's so many Saiyan Pride Mongs, it, it makes no difference, literally. Um, so now looking at this Gohan, he has a 245,000 attack, and your boy Super Saiyan 3 Trunks has 112,000 defense, which is... A pretty sizable increase. Last turn it was, what, 85,000? So it bumped up, uh, you know, about 30k uh, defense. But, again, the thing about this Trunks, I don't know if it'll activate. It's kind of like a, um, what do you call it, uh, RNG me mechanic similar to that Gohan STR one. Oh, there we go, it activated. Where he has a chance, a high chance, to block properly. And because he's blocking properly, he's going to take less damage. So if this guy were to super attack, he's doing absolutely nothing. And there we go. We get the additional attack, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. Put this bum in the shower. So as you can see, uh, both units are pretty good uh, defensively. I mean, this Gohan has attack plus 100% and defense plus 100%. And then also on super attack and defense plus 60%, which is pretty good. That's a pretty good fucking passive. Um, and obviously, with units like Xeno, Vegeta, and stuff like that, uh, they regularly will hit... Uh, let's see, what should I do here? Let's put Goku at the front. He probably has the best tanking. Uh, and then let's do that. And then let's do that and then let's go ahead should i heal i love you could die dude fucking super saiyan 3 category is very uh challenging um no nah, I, don't, I don't like the super saiyan 3 category to be completely honest with you it's a fun category uh but the fact that there's so many units that fucking like the, i don't know what it is it's just you notice the defense is ass like you just feel the fucking ass defense um Although, then again, maybe I just have ass units. I don't know. Fucking don't judge me. Uh, although I did purposely, like, for example, I brought this uh, AGL Super Saiyan 3 Gohan, Goku just because of the fact I wanted to shit your team so this thing could go a little bit slower. It's all about slowness with me. I like being slow, plain and simple. Um, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get the super attack. If he, if he were to super attack, that'd be a good judge of your boy blocking. I think even if he was not to block properly, okay, so again, so now his defense went from 112,000 to 164,000, and let's see, uh, I guess for consistency's sake, I should probably be in the super state with Gohan, so his uh, passive is easier to read, so, and then for Gohan, it went from before, was it like 230k, to so now 326,000, so it is a significant bump up, and as units get better and the percentages become higher, these type of units will just become better and better. Um, unfortunately, kind of, sort of, is that they do have this nine-turn maximum. 
which nine turns is pretty significant. It is a pretty long time. But eventually you are going to hit the limit where they're just not going to get defense anymore. They're just not going to get attack anymore. Um, which isn't, you know, terrible. But, you know, in events like, for example, the uh, Omega Shenron Goku event that's coming out from JP to here, that it takes forever. And units like Xeno Vegeta Shine, just because of the fact that, okay, so as you can see, 84 damage. And that wasn't even the quote-unquote really good... Um, uh, defensive uh, bullshit of having his passive activate. Um, and his defense is really good too. Again, attack and defense plus 60% on super. Um, but yeah, so for when that Omega Shenron Goku event comes to global, these units won't be as good as, say, Xeno Vegeta, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, uh, or units that simply raise defense over time because eventually they're going to eclipse the Gohan, definitely, and eventually they're going to eclipse the... Um, uh, the trunks, although the trunks, I think the thing, the thing that is kind of like a silver lining with trunks is that he does have the mechanic, you know, I'm actually going to block properly. Uh, he does have the mechanic where he basically will possibly guard properly. And by him guarding properly, you're going to take less damage. So the fact that his defense only goes nine turns, isn't the end of the world. And his defense does get pretty high. And it is significantly faster than um, Xeno Vegeta. Like Xeno Vegeta, you'll notice that it takes him at least like six fucking turns to get the defense ball rolling. Uh, but then after, you know, extended period of time, Xeno Vegeta eventually will just eclipse it. Just because it's a KO count effect where forever and ever his defense will go up as long as he gets a super attack. Um, but uh, I think the fact that this Trunks can do a proper block and not fuck around is actually pretty damn good, and I would not be surprised if he's pretty good in Super Battle Royale. That's the thing, like, I feel like, so, for example, these Dokkan events, eventually, even if he did not block properly, it's kind of hard to see uh, how much damage he would eat up and soak in, because these Dokkan events are only doing so much damage because of the defense anyway, so, you know, these guys are doing, like, what, maybe 200k of Super, maybe? Um, so if my defense is fucking a zazillion, it makes no difference, really. Um, at least for the most part. I mean, that's what it seems like. Oh, okay, we got an additional attack. And again, his attack and defense is going to go up plus 60%. Um, which is a significant amount. It's not, it's not no baby shit. We, 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 we really doing it out here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so we got that. And it looks like we were not really able to go the nine turns, uh, unfortunately. Uh, their attack and defense stat, this is without their passive... It's still relatively high. It is not too bad, not too shabby. Uh, I think I will definitely take a moment to look at them from the perspective of uh, Super Battle Road because I feel like, at least with the Trunks, he's going to be really fucking good. In my opinion, anyway. I feel like just because of the fact that he can block properly, it's going to be way better as opposed to um, the Gohan over time just because the defense is eventually just going to be shittier. Um, although the Gohan is really good, like, he's a really good unit, I'm not saying he's ass, I'm simply making the point that I think over time, in Super Battle Road especially, the Trunks is going to be more valuable than the Gohan just because of defense alone, and honestly, me personally, with Super Battle Road, Battlefield, all these different events where you can't heal, or have limited healing, or you can't take too many gigantic hits, I kind of appreciate the defensive units more so than the offensive units and as a matter of fact i'll actually let me see if i can actually include some footage of the max omega attack stats of these mongoloids all right so this is basically footage where i took the time and went to the boo event stalled it out and actually got the max nine turn bullshit going and this is kind of similar to where i just left off in the ss3 go tanks event where i think this is like turn six or seven ish uh, but as you can see, very similar for the Trunks, 164,000 defense, the Gohan, about 300 some odd thousand attack. And, uh, as you can see here, this Trunks tanks pretty well. Again, it's kind of hard to kind of appreciate how much this man is tanking for because Dokkan events regularly, once your defense gets higher than a certain point, it just ain't doing shit anymore. So as you can see, 33 damage, that's nothing. That's light work. Um, and at this point in time, I did not have the dupe with the Gohan, so he's not going to be popping off doing crits, doing additionals, but he still gets his stacks. Yeah, don't worry, he still gets his stacks. Uh, but yeah, I really like these units. I think they're really fun. I definitely don't think they're anything that's game-breaking, 
Uh, you know, they're very good subunits. I would say this is very reminiscent to like the double rates banners that they used to have. Uh, I mean, they still have it every once in a while. You know, those LR bullshit banners, but with better rates, basically. Um, I think those are pretty damn good places to get certain subunits. And this is, I would treat this the same way. I know a lot of people were kind of like seeing these units and like, fuck, that looks really fun. That looks really cool. I would recommend you don't pull on it unless you're really interested in basically having fun and you don't give a fuck about quote-unquote game-breaking units because for me personally i'm at the point where i have enough good units where i don't give a fuck i'll do one or two you know summons on a banner i don't mind but uh for example i'll give you an example years ago i was in genjutsu where i was like i needed majin vegeta i want majin vegeta and i wanted tech majin vegeta so badly just to play the world tournament and not be a fucking pleb uh, but at the time I had no God leaders, you know, I had no SSB Vegito, I mean, Super Saiyan Vegito, I had no Omega, etc, etc. <coughs> and it was actually really hard to beat, ev <coughs> beat events. <coughs> Jesus, I'm dying. Uh, so if you don't have amazing units and you waste stones on these banners, I feel like it's a waste because they're subunits. They're not really made to be the star of the team. They're really just fun units to bring along. So again, defense 172,000. Attack, god damn, nigga. This man hitting 480 million zillion. Now, the reason why, again, this Gohan, the reason why his attack is so high, it realistically probably should have been 380 at most. Your boy, your boy, Mr. Bardock, came through and gave him a boost. Uh, which was, you know, pretty cool to see that attack boost, but at the same time, Gohan, take it easy. So as you can see, 1.97 million, uh, which is something that I did in the previous video, but I had one dupe of him in his system. So this is kind of like another kind of example of seeing what they are. Eventually, you're going to hit a point where all the different stacks are going to wear off, and the best case scenario is that you hit that max 9 turn level bullshit, and then you get, you know, AAs. Because if you get an additional attack, you do two supers, especially for the trunks. You get defense plus 60%, and then that lasts for the nine turns. So I think they're both very interesting units. They're very fun units. I definitely would not go crazy and waste a zazillion fucking stones trying to get them. But at the same time, you know, they're pretty good units. They are actually may have a pretty good use in Super Battle Road, at least in terms of... You know, at least for Trunks, I'm thinking me personally, like, this motherfucker's gonna be out there blocking. I mean, on Mono AGL, he's low-key a god. Uh, but even so, I think to go along with the show, uh, I think they're pretty good units, they're fun units, and I think to compare the two is kind of hard to do because Gohan is more of an offensive unit, Trunks is more of a defensive unit. They work well together, they link well together, they get plus 5k because of shafting the limit and over in a flash. So they're good pairs. Uh, I definitely think they are probably one of the better units off that banner i mean I, if i had to choose between trunks and xeno vegeta uh xeno vegeta starts to shine in events where they're very very long and he is a pretty decent support unit uh but i would pick trunks over him just because of the blocking potential defense potential and the links the links are really good dude over in a flash is really fucking good to go with uh lr Majin vegeta but with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and head out to bed uh, that seemed like a pretty cool banner, the SDBH banner. Uh, the units on it were pretty fun. And again, if you feel like fucking around, you want to pull on it, go ahead. But, you know your boy's getting ready for the 300 million.